Good morning and happy Friday to you from my sunny step in Devon. It is the most beautiful morning. As you can see, the sun is up and um, it's cool, but it's absolutely beautiful. The colours are changing and it is just the most beautiful Friday morning. How are you? And I hope you are joining me this morning for a quick chat on my front doorstep. We've just had our veg box um, has just arrived. Hello, Judith. Our veg box has just arrived and look, oh, whoops, I dropped it. Nearly rolled away. Look what was in my veg box. Another great big cabbage. Can you, oh, I need to move the cabbage and move the phone. Can you see that? That is one big cabbage. Now the great news is it's a really lovely big cabbage. The bad news is it joins the two from last week and the week before. <laughs> Hello, Margaret. I need a cabbage eater in my house. Um, we do like cabbage, but not that much cabbage. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and find a neighbor. Hi, Carol. I have to find a neighbour in the village who likes cabbage more than we do. And they can have this cabbage. <laughs> I said, Andy, what we're going to talk about on the step this morning? He went, cabbage, there's another one just arrived. It's like the magician's nephew. You know, when they chop um, the stick and then it goes into two sticks and it goes into four sticks. That's how we feel about cabbage in our house. I'm just going to move it around a bit. So, <laughs> we've got another cabbage. Um, yes, uh, answers on a postcard, what are we going to do with our cabbage? <laughs> There's only two of us at the moment, and these cabbages are whoppers, which is why I think sharing is caring, and I think I'm going to give it to the neighbours. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, if you are one of my neighbours, give me a wave and say yes, please, to the, your cabbage, Emma. So, if Kate or Julia or Sam is listening, give me a shout if you want my cabbage. Hi, Bev. Bev, do you like cabbage? It's a nice cabbage. It's a fresh cabbage, but it's cabbage nevertheless. It's just we don't need it in big quantities. Um, and now we've got three of them. We're feeling we really need to share them out. I'm coming to you a little bit sweaty this morning because we've just done lift lean. That's our strength training. We do it eight to half past. It's online, so you can do it whenever you want. And we've been using resistance bands and hand weights today and doing floor work as well. So we're feeling all like we've done some work. And that was hard. That was Bev doesn't, oh, doesn't like cabbage. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. It's a bit too far to fling it over the hedge to your, to your garden. Um, yeah, we're halfway through Lift Lean now because we're doing eight sessions in October and we've done four of them already. So we've got through, we've got another four left. Uh, we do it on a Tuesday and a Friday. And um, we are really noticing an improvement in our strength. Um, our planks are looking better and our, we're holding them for longer and we're doing some really, really great work. So that's um, brilliant. Lift Lean will continue. It's each month we do eight sessions. So if you ever think, do you know what, I'd love to have a go at Lift Lean, let me know and you can join join us online. And there are always standing alternatives as well. So it doesn't matter if you can't get down to the floor, but you want to get stronger using weights and bands and stuff. So this Friday, I hope it finds you well. I have got Pilates at 10 o'clock. Then a very interesting taste test to do at 12 o'clock because I bought my first ever bottle of kefir yesterday. Yes, I did. I've only ever heard of it before on um, um, a, a radio drama called The Archers that I listen to every night going to sleep. It's fantastic at getting you to sleep. If you ever can't get to sleep, just stick on The Archers. You'll be asleep in two minutes. Anyway, Tom used to make kefir in the um, dairy. And we got talking about kefir because I did a post. I made this fantastic health. I say healthy, healthier than usual apple crumble in the week. And I reduced the sugar content by 50%. I put seeds, sunflower seeds and sesame seeds in the topping. And I also put brown flour and oats along with the white flour in the topping. So I considered it to be a lot more healthy than your average crumble made with white flour and obviously quite a lot of sugar. So um, I posted in our, in our Life Fit group, okay guys, I've made a healthy crumble. What are you going to put on it? And um, everyone yeah, I put said, oh, I put on custard. Someone else put ice cream. Someone said cream. And then Liz said, oh, I'd put kefir on it. And we went, oh, classy Liz. What on earth is that? Um, and anyway, it's, it's fermented. It's meant to be really good for us. Hi, Julie. So um, it's meant to be really good for your gut flora and everything. I thought, well, let's talk about that. Your husband listens to the art, which is excellent, Beth. 
I've been listening, so I've been with Andy 31 years now and he and his family introduced me to the Archers and we've listened to it pretty much on and off for 31 years, yeah. There were a few dodgy storylines that we dropped it, but we're back on it now, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to do a live taste test of kefir, 12 o'clock-ish, um, over on the Life Fit page. And I'll um, tell you a bit more about kefir, why it's really, really good for your intestines. <laughs> and uh, I will do an honest tasting to tell you what it tastes like. Mm. I bought a bottle yesterday, I was out with mum and uh, we went to a shop and they were selling it so I thought I know I can do a life taste test of kefir to tell you what it's like. I am not the bravest person on the edible side, I just eat what I like. I know I'm not very adventurous so it's a big deal for me so we can uh, do a little taste test at 12 o'clock and I'll let you know what it's like. So have an amazing weekend. It, I have no idea what the weather forecast is like. I never look, it's one of those things. I don't watch the news and I don't look at the forecast. I take each day as it comes. And today I can report it's a flipping beautiful one. So I hope you can get out, you can enjoy today, whatever you're doing. Margaret says, what's in it? Well, I'll be telling you at lunchtime. Fermented, um, it's, 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 um, it's a fermented drink. A bit, a bit like, you know, you can get those little hot shots good for your tummy. I think it's a bit like that, but I've, I've done my homework. I've got a sheet to read out all about kefir. Uh, but it's very good, it's active and it's very good for your, your, in, your I think they call it your your gastric flora anyway anyway good for your guts um and we'll be learning more about that about 12 o'clock and i'm going to do an honest taste test which i'm slightly scared about but i think i might get andy to do it as well because he's braver than me anyway have a fantastic weekend uh pilates for me at 10 taste testing at 12 um all back to uh then all the classes restart on monday uh with our cardio fitness at 10 o'clock so have a great weekend um if you are local and you would seriously be interested in my cabbage that's just arrived in my veg box this morning, I would love you to say, yes, please, Emma, please, can I have your cabbage? And then we can get on eating the two from the previous weeks and you can have this one. It's a pleasure. See you Monday. Bye.